Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer, owner of Citrus and Willow Skincare and Citrus and Willow Advanced Aesthetic Courses. I'm gonna teach you a lactic acid pill, which is perfect for dry, dehydrated skin. It's a 45% lactic acid pill by Circadia. So let's get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with our Vitamin Veil Cleanser. But first, let's explain why I chose this particular peel for this client. She has normal to dry skin, so it's very much congested in the chin area, into the cheek area, the nose area, and up into the forehead. But she's also very dry, so I'd like to put her on a peel series to rehydrate the skin, balance out her pH, and then also decongest these pores. And lactic acid is so gentle and it's perfect for those results. We're starting in with this oil-based non-foaming cleanser that gently removes makeup, dirt, and any impurities that could be in the skin. Perfect to start out this particular chemical peel. I've already dampened the client's skin and now I just wanna make sure to take time to really cleanse the skin. We get really excited to start doing our chemical peels, but we forget to really take our time to cleanse those impurities away from the skin and any dirt, oil, or makeup as well. With this particular cleanser, I take my time and make sure that it's fully removed from the skin before I go in with my next cleanser. I like to do three sponges to make sure that it's completely removed. Next, I'm gonna go in with my lip replacing cleanser. It's a revitalizing cleanser that effectively removes dirt, makeup, and excess oil. So this is best for normal to slightly oily skin. So even though her skin is normal to dry, I want to replace it with this nice cleanser, this lipid replacing cleanser to bring her pH back to normal. So I'm sponging off the lipid replacing cleanser three times with clean, tepid water, just to make sure it's completely removed from the skin. Now, at this point, I'm gonna use the star of the game, which is our new fan for maximum client comfort. It is our neck fan. It even has disco lights. You place this fan underneath the client's neck. You can turn on the lights or not turn on the lights. I like to turn on the lights because I get to see them. But now you have put some cool air on your client. So as this peel starts to penetrate, it feels stingy. So you want to make sure that your client's comfortable, that they're not uncomfortable as the peel starts to decrease in its efficacy. So now I'm going to apply some Vaseline. This is step three in the peel process around the lips, just to protect these more sensitive areas around the nasolabial fold. This is important because especially this time of year, people are blowing their nose a lot. That area is very sensitive. And I also like to apply it just below the eyes to protect underneath the eye area that skin's very thin. You wanna make sure it's protected and that the peel doesn't hit that area. Next step is applying the 45% lactic acid peel. This is a hydrating peel. It is great for most skin types. It says in the book to apply milliliters, but I'm here to tell you I Googled and now you can apply 2.5 teaspoons. So that is the amount that you will apply in your cup for the client chemical peel. Now 
I am choosing to apply this lactic acid peel with a fan brush, but you also have the option of doing a four by four piece of soft gauze and always start at the forehead. This chemical peel stays on for five to 20 minutes based on client comfort. So you're gonna wanna ask on a scale of one to 10, how your client feels throughout the entire process. How do you feel, one to 10? Probably like a five. Perfect. So you allow your client now to just relax, setting your timer for five minutes, ask the client how they're feeling, and then you can continue the time if you feel like that is necessary for your client's skin and your client's skin type and your client's skin goals. Next, I'm gonna remove the peel with clean four by fours and tepid water, making sure the peel is completely removed from the client's skin. I keep the fan on my client to make sure that they're com comfortable during the whole time. This can feel a little spicy as you're taking it off. Again, I choose three passes for the removal. Now you proceed with the PK Peel Neutralizing Spray from Circadia. Covering the client's eyes, you're just gonna Spritz them just to neutralize the peel. The fan helps to dry the skin. Now, once the PK neutralizing spray is neutralizing the entire peel, you can go in and do your extractions if necessary. Once extractions are finished, post peel balm is then applied. At this point, the client's skin is normally neutralized so you can take the fan away. And finally, an SPF 37 from Circadia is then applied to protect the client's skin from any damage that can occur or negative reactions from the sun. Depending on where you live, the sun can be very potent. And then we encourage our clients to go home with the Circadia Post Peel Kit we highly encourage it. It just increases the efficacy of the peel. And we ask our clients to come back in two weeks post peel for a follow-up. What kind of peel do they need next? Or do we need to continue on with a series of lactic acid peels to get what we need from the client and get the results that they are looking for. Hey guys, we hit 500 subscribers. We are so excited. We do this channel for you. We like to educate. We like to add anything we can to your practice. So let us know in the comments what you want to see next and definitely press that like and subscribe button. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Mwah!